All right, so here we have the female reproductive system seen from, a, uh, from the frontal uh, view. Uh, and I'll show you uh, the, the 3D model here in a minute. But uh, let's start where the, the oocytes or the eggs are produced. And these are the ovaries out here. Here's the outside of it, and this is kind of an internal view. So the ovaries are where you're going to make, where you're going to conduct oogenesis compared, uh, contrasted with spermatogenesis in the male. Now, just going to point these out. See these little structures here? These these represent the oocytes, which is an early developmental stage of the egg, um, in their little chambers, and they they call the 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 chambers uh, follicles. So we'll try to illustrate that later, but a real early stage follicle that's really tightly packed, like tightly wrapped around the oocyte is called a primary follicle. As it gets larger, it becomes what's called a secondary follicle. And then lastly, when it's about to mature and you're about to ovulate, you get what's called a vesicular vesicle or graphene follicle. So if you see a slide of an ovary with a big hollow space in it, that's you're looking at a, a vesicular uh, follicle. So when ovulation occurs, and that's kind of have, has been represented here, the oocyte's going to be released, and it's going to be gathered up by this, which is the, uh, I call it an oviduct. That's just the, my preferred term. But you also may see it called a, uh, a fallopian tube or a uh, uterine tube. But whichever, I'm going to go with oviduct. So get that oocyte gets gathered up by the oviduct. There's these little finger-like sort of ex op uh, extensions around the opening. These are called fimbrae, these little, these little bumps. And then this whole region here is called the, uh, the infundibulum. That oocyte is kind of whisked down this oviduct. And here it is, there's the oocyte. And here you see some, the, the, some sperm cells that, that are in this model. Uh, they're not drawn to scale. They'd be way smaller than that, and the oocyte would be way smaller than that too. But in any case, this oviduct is used to transport the oocyte down into the uterus. And so this big structure here is the uterus. Uh, th this is what you, uh, you know, layman's terms would call a womb, but uh, uterus is the preferred term here. And whereas the uh, oviduct, if you wanted to give a function of the oviduct, you could call it the site of fertilization. You, you, you know, if you have your druthers, you want the sperm cells to meet the oocyte here to fertilize at the oviduct so that they, the, uh, the mother's reproductive system has time to get ready for the next step, which is implantation. So that, that oocyte, that fertilized egg now, that gamete, sorry, that zygote would implant on the wall of this, uh, the internal wall of this uh, uterus. You can see a couple of different layers here. This internal layer is called the endometrium and it's really vascular, lots of blood vessels. And this is gonna be the part of the mother's reproductive system that interfaces with the, uh, with the embryo and forms the placenta. So it's gonna supply it with nutrients and uh, oxygen and get rid of the waste and so on. Now the, the majority of the wall of this uterus is smooth muscle and it's called the myometrium. So the myometrium, myo means muscle. Myometrium is the big, uh, strong uh, wall of that uterus and this is gonna be this, this is the uh, part of the uterus that uh, contracts to both cause menstruation uh, every month or if there's a pregnancy and there's a big baby in here to, to eject the baby. So those uterine contractions are gonna actually uh, cause the, the fetus to, to leave, right? So now at the bottom of the uterus, you see this region right here is called the cervix. So this area between here and here roughly would be the cervix and it's a really strong circular uh, sphincter basically so it's a it's a sphincter that contracts and the the job is to keep the baby in right you, it's like a bottleneck so you want to keep it tight so that the 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 fetus doesn't you know accidentally escape <laughs> so uh there's a couple of the inside openings called the internal os so the inside opening of that cervix is the internal os the outside is the external os the tube down the middle is the cervical canal uh and then we see down here, this is the vagina. So this whole region from here up to here is the vagina. Contrary to popular belief, the vagina is an internal structure. I'll talk about the external genitalia shortly, but this is where sperm are deposited. So just like with a, uh, the penis being a copulatory organ or a reproductive organ in a male, the vagina is where the female uh, copulates 
and this is the the function would be uh, the place to where sperm are deposited. And that's about it for this model.